Today marks the end of a four-year process. Here we are at Joint Base Lewis McCord celebrating the ribbon cutting for the opening of the Pendleton Multiway Boulevard. The Pendleton Multiway Boulevard project is the main street that interconnects all the different components of the Joint Base Lewis McCord from the old Lewis McCord Air Force Base to the historic Fort Lewis Army Base. So this roadway system has to carry a lot of traffic that is both commercial as well as military. And the conflict comes in with the amount of traffic that's coming along this arterial and the desire is to get across the road as well as along the road in a safe way. As part of the master planning process, well, what we did is we brought in the idea of a multi-way boulevard which separates the arterial traffic from the side access and parking traffic. What that does is allow the traffic to move more efficiently but also create a pedestrian environment that's protected by that slow moving car as well as the parked car. One of the things we we're trying to achieve with the using uh, different pavement colors in our permeable pavers is to really delineate where the car parks in the gray section versus the road or access lane where the cars can be moving. At this point in time, there are no cars parked here, but even if the cars were here, the pedestrian would still have a sense that this entire area is a pedestrian zone. So we have a 10-foot sidewalk that's buffered from the road by a 15-foot parking and access lane plus a 12-foot rain garden. So you're already 30 feet away from the moving traffic. We transformed all the intersections in the downtown area. To get the cars to slow down, we raised those uh, three inches off the road so that the car would feel itself going up on the pedestrian zone and slow down. And we added pedestrian pavement all the way through the intersection so that people driving along the road would realize that these are high pedestrian traffic volume areas and they needed to slow down. In addition to that, we planted as many trees as possible within the core area. One of the reasons we did that and planted large trees is we want to try to, in 10 years, have the tree canopy completely envelop the asphalt roadway below. The road no longer is a road, but it really becomes a linear plaza or a linear park. It helps get people out of their automobiles and gets them to walk from building to building because it's such a pleasant experience.